Now, Zelda fans know that when a door closes behind you, it's it's rarely good. Usually means puzzle or boss. This is a room with a wide open area, so probably mini boss. Look at this guy. That's a dodge. Oh, he saw me coming. Yeah. Oh, didn't see that coming, though. He got me. Well, that one I didn't even have a chance to avoid. <laughs> Familiar dialogue, even though it doesn't quite look like the other ones. Opening his heart, revealing his wisdom. And this is where this thing starts to go wrong. Okay, so that which releases sacred golden light. Don't know what that means. The red emblem outside the temple. We did look at that. It shall rearrange things. Do not forget these words. And he explodes. But I mean, at least he had a good time living. What could this be? Well, each of these dungeons has been an arrow upgrade since the first one. It is indeed the light arrow. The light of justice shall target evil. All right, so we push forward. Push forward. There's the map. I must have accidentally turned it off. I was wondering why it didn't show up anymore when I had it. So you have a hookshot target on the floor. You know, like you do. We're going to be very quiet and sneak up on this guy. I'm going to jump the wrong direction almost. Let's see if we can quickly kill him. Notice these do take twice as much magic as the fire and ice arrows. It's one of the nice things about this. I think the arrows cost a little bit less in this game. Probably because they expect you to have to use them so much. Huh. I am surprised that doesn't work. Does this? Okay. Well, I'm facing the wrong direction. Otherwise, this plan's working pretty well. Goodbye. Now that's overkill. Completely. Down below is some stuff, including a chest, but since we're not really concerning ourselves with the stray fairies. Brings us to this room. Remember this gentleman from before? I don't think this is going to work, but let's try it anyways because it's funny. No. <laughs> Got an eyeball! Shoot him in the eyeball! I don't remember how to kill him. Ow! He hit me. <laughs> hmm. You okay, probably want regular arrows and not light arrows if it's not going to one-shot him. Hello again. Round two. Ow. Oh, he's too good. How does he always know where I'm going? There. Oh, he had a heart attack. I shot him in the eye, he thought about it for 14 seconds, then he died. Like you do. Alright, slowly but surely, we're clearing out these chests. There's a million of them, as we saw on the map. Unsurprising. Number five. That's a third of the way there. the room closes behind us. Unfortunately, this just brings us out to the back where we started. Oh, it hurt me. But why? 
Grab the ladder. Oh, that would have been so cool. Oh man. Don't touch me. I don't want to have to climb this again. Please, God, no. Okay. Fine, whatever. You attack that. We're going to go ahead and go outside. Now we have completed a loop. Unlike before when I sort of missed that small key you could jump out of the water and get. We have no choice now. Oh, bleh. <laughs> so, so not that one. We need to move the middle one. I think the middle one was this one? Is that one we can jump on too, though? Or is that in the middle? Well, either way, we gotta put a statue here. You remember this old trick? We did it, I don't know, what, dozen, 15, 20 times? Three more inside the temple itself. Hello, Ben. Uh, can we get it from the side, perhaps? That would be nice, so I don't have to move any more of these. That should work. So it is meant to be weird. And it is in fact weird. We are now upside down. Even people who haven't played the game before will not be shocked by this development. You can kind of see it coming from the dungeon. It's kind of open for some magic, but that's fine. And if we look down, by the way, the sky. The music also changes a little bit while you're upside down. Just a cooler. Well, I don't know about cooler. I like the original version the best, but a different version of the song that we liked so much. I don't know where the fourth block came from, but it's a mystery. And here we are in the Stone Tower Temple. It is the same place, but it is not the same place. There is that chest that we hookshot it to. There's the door we just came out of before we exited. There's the switch that was upside down. There is the boss door. So, now we explore upside down where we could jump into the sky at any time. That sentence sounds silly, and quite frankly, it is. It is rather silly. This floating knight guy. Death Armos. Look at that red mark on his chest. Indeed, I have seen something like that. There's a door over there. We'll come back to that later. There's a fence in the way, so I, you know, I can't really... Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. You know, I just... And then... Hey, look at all them hearts. All right. Just roll into the wall for posterity. Oh, look. It's a sunblock. I wonder. I don't know if we could hit this from here. <laughs> It'd be a hell of a shot. We did actually hit it. You heard him react. Doesn't seem to be killing him though. It's flipping him upside down. How very interesting. Hmm. How do we get over there, though? We can't progress because sunblock. There's no, like, hookshot targets. Hmm. <laughs> Stand on there. Say a slight prayer, see if they'll uh just send me to the boss room without any difficulty, that would be super nice. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I'm clearly missing something here. What am I missing? There's boxes up there, but how would one get up there? I couldn't jump from that side, could I? Was I just missing it? You know what we need? You know what would be the most helpful? Bunnies. Yes. Yes, bunnies, yes. Hmm. This doesn't work, but let's look anyways. Alright, now we're out here. Now we basically have to live here forever or starve. Into the sky we go. Unless I can hit the eyeball, but see the eyeball switch is closed. Generally you can't shoot them open. Alright, what have I missed in my life? I'm missing something obvious. I mean, I could hookshot the chest, but that just drops me there, if not into the pit. There's that symbol on the ground. Hmm. Unless one can push down the switch. Or, I guess the alternative is I haven't tried one thing yet. I don't know if this works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Least common denominator. <laughs> okay. There's that upside down mirror. And now this room, another one. There's going to be something a common theme here that we did right side up. This room had water in it. Who knows where that went? We have a quick look-see. We got stuff boosting us. We got the disabling skulls. And try and get further up in the room. There's also a chest either underneath or above us. No. No, stupid. Let's go up. See what all there is to see. One would think this is going to be timed. Oh. Extremely timed. We are running into the item conundrum again. Too many things to do, not enough slots. So we have to keep going into the menu. Luckily it doesn't take that long, but... So that one at least I know I I didn't I hit the up too quickly and I didn't get it. That's that's on me. I can't even be mad. As many Ben statues as we can put in this temple, the better. If you don't know what Ben is, just just look it up. You'll learn. Now are these spikes gonna stop us here? Quite maybe. Seems like if we come in low enough we might be able to avoid them. Only one way to find out, kids. Whoosh. There's a key door up here. I think we're low enough where this will be okay. <laughs> Great. Wrong side. Duh. We're so short the straight fair just pops out and doesn't even come to us. What an insult. Well, this guy down below is really upset. Nope. <laughs> now we don't have the key to go into here. So presumably we have to find some other option here. There is the upside down sun, I suppose. Hmm. 
<laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work, but it was fun to try. Love you. What in the world were you looking at there? Tattle, you so crazy. And we missed. Terrific shot, though. Are you seeing the problem now? Now, to be honest, I don't remember if we had to flip the dungeon again. Or if we just kind of finish it upside down. If we want all the stray fairies, I know we have to flip the dungeon again. I remember doing it. I remember being kind of sad. But I don't know if that's the case otherwise. I also don't know if there's anything else we can do here. That's the chest that was sort of above us when we first started. We don't have a key yet. So let's go in here. There's a switch in here. We saw it upside down when we came through here through the water. Oh, that could be the key. Let's have a quick look at the map, shall we? You'll notice in the original version of this, the top floor, of, as you will, was the super busy one, and the bottom one was essentially this one. There's the boss. That's probably the boss key there on the right. Uh, let's go back and grab the chest. Well, let's look in here first. We're right here. Let's take a look. That's it. Doesn't really look like a room we want to be in at the moment. Nor one that we can do much in. In fact, it looks like death. We could let that guy grab us and throw us out. Really? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I know it is technically a different room over there, but like... I watched four feet away, this guy respawned. What the hell? What the hell, bro? Yes, very good. Uh, we might need to shoot those before we try and go up there. <laughs> One way to find out. Ow. I really thought I could make that. Camera, you are not helping. Camera, whatever this is. Alright, well, the worst case scenario, we hit it and we blow up and we open it up that way. <laughs> yeah! That's the cool guy way to do it. Wait, we need to go higher. Oh, we are as high as we can go. Okay. And the hearts are even still here because we got back up so quick. Cool. Yeah, I see you, Spike Mine. You're not fooling me. No. Alright. So this room has a pretty straightforward approach to it. Because there's no other approach to it. Down there is nothing. Just a slopey pit. However... <laughs> it just drops. I don't know. I do feel kind of lazy. But I also want to keep hearts. So. Sure. Can we miss this shot with an arrow? I don't know. Oh, we got it. Whew. Plop. Could do that from the middle platform too, but I prefer to take out any ambiguity. All right, now you'll notice they're providing us with both magic and an arrow in this room, and there's a thing to flip it. What could it all mean? Well, look at this guy, living the dream. We're gonna go ahead and make use of him, and then there's this. A block. You can kind of start to piece together. Ow. 
just piece together how this room is going to work, can't you? Uh, I need to get back up. I mean, I don't need to, but I'm going to. That way we can have one last look at the room, and then we'll save the puzzle for the next part.